Look at my beard. Look at it! We need answers. What on earth is this? This is what we're searching for answers for. There was a time where my beard absolutely went to sh first it was the hair. No. Horrifically sparse. And I first noticed changes when I was on holiday in Thailand. I was really looking forward to getting out there and just enjoying the scenery, taking some fantastic pictures. As the time went on, I just thought, what is going on with this beard here? There's too much light passing through this thing. Push that to the back of my mind, classic. It just got worse and worse. So my first thought is it must be something to do with the climate. Maybe it's just too hot out here, too sweaty, and like a dog shedding its winter coat. My body was like, that's too much hair for you. <laughs> it's kind of ironic, right? I lived in one of the hottest climates in China. Beards, they thicken up in the winter, do they? Was it down to the climate? There was a guy in my comment section, he said it's more than likely that the reason why this is your second beard, the first beard, the one that sort of seemingly fell apart, almost like the ugly duckling growing its first sort of coat and then it all starts to fall out until out blossoms this magnificent, feathered, glorious swan, <laughs> which is the second beard. Have you heard this concept of the first, second beard? Third possible reason, the hairs grow at different rates, growing faster than some of the other ones, so they just need to be constantly sort of pruned back. I did give myself a couple of beard trims. It just never felt like it regained its strength. Was the reason that the hairs, the beard hairs, just grow at different lengths? I don't know. Okay, guys. Well, that brings us on to the fourth possible reason why my beard went to absolute shit. So when I grew this first beard, between months one and about seven, I was using minoxidil on my face twice a day. Everyone was asking me my opinion on this stuff and I had no experience with it. I'd heard so much about people, you know, using it on their face to try to improve their beards. I thought this is a great opportunity to at least have some experience with the product, see what it's like, see how it feels on the skin. I didn't notice any wild, like amazing, oh my God, my beard looks so fantastic in that time. It is possible that the minoxidil did improve my beard in some ways, maybe thicken it up slightly. And I stopped about the seven month mark. Now this beard, when it all sort of looked horrible, was about nine months in. It's possible then that about the time that I stopped using it, some of the hairs began to fall out. My beard was shedding, right? When I look back on using that stuff for me, you know, it wasn't really worth it, to be honest. So what do you think? Did stopping that minoxidil cause a lot of my facial hair to shed? And it never really fully recovered after that. There could be other reasons. I don't tend to wash it as much as I did in the past. And I don't really brush or comb it so much. You know, when I was doing that, my beard's quite curly. I don't know if you can see here, but if I try to straighten it out and make it, you know, all straight, all like some of these beards, a lot of the beards that you see online, mine's messy, mine's bushy, mine's curly. I let it bush. I let it breathe. That's the bit I've got. That's the beard that I'm going to rock. Now guys, I should also mention with all this beard talk, I did actually meet Carlos Costa, one of the guys over there at Beard Brand. And now we are hooked up here with a little free shipping code. You can check it out down in the description box. If you'd like to try some of the Beard Brand products, hey, hopefully that little free shipping code can help you out a little bit. Those are the products that I'm using at the moment. I saw this video, you know, this clip here at the start of this video. I saw that and I was like, I have to do a video talking about this because it's a part of my journey. It's a part of me learning more about how to take care of myself. The beard falling out was a bit of a, bit of a concerning moment. If you're in the comments section and you find the answer that you think is most likely, upvote it, comment why you agree, and then anyone who has this same problem or who is concerned about the same problem is gonna help them out. So guys, as we started this video, I call upon people of the world, share your knowledge. I can just relax a little bit, finally knowing what actually happened to that beard. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to 
beard brand for getting involved. Thank you, of course, to the channel sponsors, Leaf Shave. If you want to check out the razor that I'm using, I'll see you in that next video. Goodbye.